Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit new to me. Now that being a descriptive slash comparative style video. Now, what am I gonna be describing slash comparing? Tanks, specifically mag-fed tank and stock tanks. Um, my plan is to basically give you a quick description of each tank and its possible features, um, and feeding you a little bit of information about them. Now, uh, I do have three other tanks to compare to, so I will start off with this guy, obviously, since it's right there. Um, this is the brand new First Strike Hero 17CI 4500 PSI carbon fiber wrap tank. This guy just came out a few weeks ago, um, and I thought it was awesome. I can accommodate the length, and uh, I just had to get it, because more air means more mags to shoot, all right? Now, details. Length. From back end to front, we're looking at about 11 and a half inches. Um, now, weight-wise, before I get into the weight, just to clarify things, um, I, I learned something new with the, the prep for these videos. Uh, I didn't realize that having a full tank and empty tank would actually make a difference in the tank's overall weight. I mean, it's air. Who would have thought, right? Um, but compressed air actually has some mass to it, um, enough to make a difference when weighing them. So I figured I'd just... Uh, even out the playing field, I filled up all the tanks I'll be showing you today to 3,000 PSI. Um, and if you're asking why 3,000 PSI and not 4,500 in this one, um, unfortunately, I only have scuba tanks that fill to 3,000 PSI, so that's what I got. So a couple of tanks will be a full fill. A couple of tanks will not be a full fill. It'll be like three quarters full. Um, that's the best I can do for you, all right? Uh, Weight-wise, again, on this guy, before I lose my train of thought, is 453 grams. Now... One thing I really do appreciate and really like about these Hero regs is this. This collar, you can pull it out and adjust the orientation of where your fill nipple and gauge will sit on the tank once you've screwed it into the SA. So being a little bit more of an old school player, or not old school, but I run an older T15 that still uses the metal guide bars. Um, and if you have the same style marker, you know my pain. You screw in a tank for the first time and it stops right there which means that you can't put your guide bar backwards and put your stock back on. Um, and to fix it, you had to unscrew your tank, degas it, and then go in through the top and readjust it. With this ring, all you gotta do is turn it and you're done. It's an awesome feature, I really do appreciate it. Even if you don't have the old school guide bars, when you screw in your tank, if you wanna be able to have your gauge facing you or inwards so you have a better idea of how much air you have in the middle of a firefight, you will totally appreciate that feature, trust me. Okay, that basically gives a sum up of that guy. Our next tank will be this. The First Strike Hero 15CI 4500 PSI carbon fiber wrap tank. Now again, it's got the same really nice feature with the rig on, on the front of it. Um, and its details is as follows. Where am I at? Here we go. 10 and a half inches from back to front. And weight wise, you're looking at about 436 grams. Um, awesome tank. I've been running. I've been running this one for just under a year. I really do appreciate the extra, extra air because I mean that just means again more mags to shoot. I I, I totally appreciate that. Um, okay, the next tank I got to compare it to is something that might be a little bit more commonplace in a guy's armory. Um, they've been around for a while, so I'm pretty sure guys are running this because I know a few that do. And that is the 17CI 3000 PSI aluminum tank. Um, now with this guy, I do run for strike regs on my other tanks. It's my preference. I do appreciate the small stubby um, regulator length on them. And uh, I really haven't had many issues with them. All right, details on this guy. We are looking at 10 and three quarters inch from back to front. Um, now weight wise, this guy is a heifer. This guy's like 555 grams. So it weighs a lot. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I mean that three quarter inch difference, if it's something in your means and you're looking for an upgrade and you can handle the length of the, uh, the of the tank, I definitely upgrade to that, to that new, new one from first strike. I mean, more air, more shots, gotta have it. Right. Um, I'm glad I picked that one up. Anyways, uh, this guy's great. We'll put this one aside and I'll show you the last tank. Um, and that this, this last tank is something that should be pretty common in most guys' armories. I mean, I'm pretty sure almost everybody has at least one and, and or uses at least one. Um, and that's the 13 CI 3000 PSI tank. Again, first right tank and reg, just my personal preference. Um, details on this guy is from back to front eight and three quarter inches long and weight wise, get this, this guy is 455 grams. So this 
smaller 13 CI tank weighs almost the same or almost identical to the 17 CI 4500 tank. Um, so much more air in this guy. Again, showing the, these tanks, I got them pretty lined up on the side here, just so you have an idea of what the differences are, more or less in length. And if it's something for you, at least you have an idea of um, where everything sits relative to one another. Uh, if it's something you can definitely put into your setup, I would still recommend the 17CI. If not, maybe go down to the 15. Um, I really am a big fan of the carbon fiber tanks, just because it means a lot more air. Um, and... I mean, as great as the aluminum is, these I like these more. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys. If you have any questions, as always, post up, shoot me a message. I am more than happy to help out if I can. And uh, thanks for your time, guys. Hope this helps you out. Cheers.